Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I'm a 20 year old mama to a sweet little boy. So today we will be doing our budget with me for February paycheck number one. So if you're interested, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I did zoom you in so that you guys would be able to see a little bit better this week. Um, I always intend to do this and always forget, so we're doing it this week. So, Tony and me. Um, typically, I pre-plan these, and I kind of know where everything's going, but we're going to wing it, sort of. If that makes any sense, like I know, I know the bills that need to be paid and how much they are. I know how much is going towards the wedding and everything else is just uh, kind of there. So we'll figure it out as we go. Um, I did want to start with Tony made 1266 even, which I thought was super cool. We've never made anything like even, so that was interesting. Another thing I wanted to say is if you guys have been following me for a while, um, you do know that that is a lot for him. And the reason being is thank the Lord. We have had so many blessings recently, but one in particular, um, we're not having to pay rent for two to three months because we have a very large credit on our account and that will cover up to three months of rent. So we opted to stop the payments out of his check since he we do live on the property he works at we stopped the payments out of his check and we will be getting that money to us instead of to the apartment while it eats up that credit um and i'll show you what what we're going to do with that every check from here on out until we are done and we have to start paying rent again but that's why that's larger than normal and then i made 476 70 so um, I, if you're new here, I do work part-time as a leasing agent at a property. I work 21 hours a week, which is three days. Um, and typically the first check is regular hourly and the second check is hourly in commission. However, our company is changing that in February. We will have no commission for February and we will get commission again March, the first paycheck now instead of the second. So. 476 is about normal for me. Um, but yeah, just want to make sure you guys had that information. Let's add this up. So we have 1266 plus 476, 70. Seven, what? 1742, 70. Sorry, that, I hate that the calculator doesn't count the zero because it really messes me up. I know I'm so dramatic, but um, let's see, 17, 42, 70. There we are. Okay, so for bills, we do have, I know for sure we have the babysitter. We have Apple. Apple Music. So this one up here, this Apple alone is storage. My Experian. And uh, what else? Funimation. And electricity. So for the babysitter, we do owe her 140. Apple is one, Apple Music is 18. Experian is 28, Funimation is 9, and Electricity is 107. So I do not mess with cents typically. Um, I will with this rent payment just a little bit, but all of these, like uh, Funimation is 8 something, Electricity was 106 something, but I'm not going to deal with the change, and that can just be a buffer, so I always round up to the nearest dollar. So let's add all of that up. We have 140 
plus 1 plus 18 plus 28 plus 9 plus 107 303 Oh wait, we need that back. I always do that, guys. I'm sorry. So we have 1742 70 minus 303 that is 143970. So that is what is remaining 143970. Now we're gonna skip over the variable expenses really quick and we're gonna go to savings first. So wedding, um, wedding is getting the normal 550 and then I'm gonna put wedding here again but this one's gonna say rent and that is 407.83. So that's what we pay in rent. Wow, you guys couldn't even see that. I'm sorry. I forget that you're zoomed in. So wedding is getting its normal 550 and then wedding rent is getting 407.83. So we do pay 407.83 every check. So twice a month, our rent is a total of 815 after our discount. So we decided we were gonna take that money um, that would normally be rent and we're actually going to put it towards the wedding so that we can be done with that quicker. So let me add that up. 550 plus 407.83 equals 957.83. All right. So I wanted to get that out of the way so I knew how much we had to play with after that. So 957.83, I'm gonna subtract that from this 1439.70. I'm really sad that I didn't have you guys in frame. Makes my heart sad. Okay, 957.83 equals 481.87. 481.87. Four eighty-one eighty-seven is remaining. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to variable expenses. Bring this back down a little bit. So we are gonna do um, Tony gas, Emma's gas, lunch, which is Tony's lunch when he's at work. And then we are gonna put a date night in here. Um, since we are getting paid the 11th, and Valentine's Day is the 14th on Monday. We are actually going to be doing our Valentine's Day night on uh, Saturday, sorry, the 12th. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Tony's parents are gonna watch Reese and we plan to go out to dinner and then just come home, hang out, movie night, whatever we wanna do. But I don't know if we'll go out to eat. I'm sure a lot of people have the same thoughts we do. Like, let's just go ahead and do it on a Saturday or the Friday before since Valentine's Day is a Monday. So it'll depend on what, you know, the lines look like to eat. However, I do want to make sure we have money in case we want to, you know, go out and eat. So I'm going to go ahead and do gas. Let me see. I'm going to do... I'm gonna do 20 for Tony and 50 for me. So that's 70. And then lunch is 50. Date night, I'm gonna do 50. Oh, and my spending. I'm gonna go ahead and do 20. So all together that is, let's see, 20 plus 50 plus 50, plus 50, good Lord, plus 20, 190. The total is 190. So I'm gonna bring this over here. 480, 81. Sorry if you guys can't see this. I keep forgetting that I'm zoomed in and I can't just be wherever I wanna be. Minus 190 is 291.87. So we're just gonna do 291. 
because I don't play with those other numbers. So let's see, let's flip it over and do our sinking fund slash cash envelopes. So we do put food in here and household. Those are for sure gonna be taken from. So that's food gets 200, household gets 50. It's pretty standard. So we were at 291 minus 250. Wow. Sorry guys, 291 minus 250 is $41. So we don't have a whole lot to play with in February since our commission is messed up we knew that um but we want to pay our bills pay ourselves and go from there if not a lot gets put in sinking funds it's not the end of the world to us um would we love to put away for more of course but honestly when we put all of our spending money all of our money away we get to not following the budget there's a ton of budgeters that live by pay yourself first. And when I started this journey, I didn't listen and I did whatever I wanted. I would pay bills, get food, and that'd be it. Everything else was savings. And I realized really quickly that when that happened, I would pull from savings in order to buy something because I didn't have spending money. And it just, it didn't work for us. So we have $41 remaining and I'm content with that. It's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do honeymoon. Emergency. Car maintenance. Reese's savings account. And Reese's birthday. And those will probably all be very small amounts, but that's okay with me. So emergency, we're gonna do eight because that'll even it out. Um, in order for my coloring to work out. So 41 minus eight, 33. We're gonna go ahead and do 20 to honeymoon. So minus 20, 13, we'll do six to Reese's savings account. Leaving us with seven, we'll do four to his birthday and three to car maintenance. And that's okay. That is totally okay with me. So let's see, 200 plus 50 plus 20 plus eight plus three plus six plus four equals 291. Let's just double, double check that that's right. We had 291 remaining. So we are on the right track. I hope you guys could see that. I really hope that was not a frame. I guess I'll see when I edit. Okay, so for a total of 291, Now we're gonna bring over everything that also gets taken out in cash but isn't put in the sinking fund area, if that makes sense. So babysitter comes out cash. Um, let me see what else, my spending. And then I wanna say that's it. Let me just double check and make sure. We'll go ahead and take date night out as well. So food, we're going to do, oh, the babysitter is 140. My spending was 20. And then date night is 50. So for food, We're gonna do 10 20s for household, two 20s and a 10. And then honeymoon will be 120. And then emergency will be a five and three ones. Car maintenance will be three ones. 
Reese will be a five and a one. And then his birthday will be four ones. Then for the babysitter, let's see. We're gonna do seven twenties. For my spending, we're gonna do a 10, a five, and five ones. So 10, 15, 20. And then date night, we're gonna do two 20s and a 10. So let's go ahead and add that all up and total it out at the bottom. So we have three, six, seven, 11, four, five, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yes, 11, 16. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 22. Okay, now let's make sure that all equals out. So first we're gonna do the 291 plus the 140, the 20, and the 50. Plus 140, plus 20, plus 50, 501. Now let's make sure all of these equal out. So 16 ones is $16, $15 for three fives, $30, and then 22 times 20 is 440. So now let's add all this up, 440 plus 30, plus 15, plus 16 equals 501. So we did that right. Yay, guys. Let me grab my cash breakdown. I will be right back. All right, so I'm back. This is a slip that I take to the teller every two weeks, and this is how she knows how much to give me. So for ones, we have 16, which equals $16. For the fives, we have three, which equals $15. For the tens, we have three, which equals $30. For the twenties, we have 22, which equals $440 for a total of 501. And that's everything, guys. We did it all, yay! Okay, guys, that's everything. We did it, we're done. This is February paycheck number one. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Also, don't forget to comment down below. I love when I get to interact with you guys. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and a great week and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.